Shut up and sit down. I'm gonna go um, get hot chocolate and go to Telluride. So today is Telluride and Gunnison. Um, which is going to be super exciting and I probably should at some point get rid of the bugs anyway but yeah you can see there's people sleeping another person sleeping some guy like walked over to my van like halfway and turned around and walked back so I don't know I mean I'm on like 40 or 50 van life pages so I occasionally see people I know but you can see here there's the RV there's the two van lifers right there it's an interesting style of the brown one there's a box truck. Um, I always, I'm always like, do I know any of these people? No. So yeah, so um, I don't think I know this person. It's like moving van or a tiny home. Yeah, I don't know this person. I can usually tell like um, from, uh, you know, even just the way they have their cab, if they are, um, you know who they are <laughs> so because a lot of people go oh look at the hole i cut between the cab and the box truck all right so quickly go to speedway here sorry for my choppy driving um and then yeah i'm out of here so uh, no one's gonna win powerball powerball zero <laughs> this will probably be the only one i win is the zero one right there that will never be me anyway all right i don't do that silly stuff okay see you soon in telluride <laughs> So this is interesting, there's an earth ship, that house over there, it's called an earth ship. So it's basically made with like recycled materials and things. And then this is pretty cool. Whatever this is, this says welcome, it's a little mud hut. It's awesome. And it's our private property, so I'm going to continue on. Really pretty out here. Reminds me a lot of Northern Japan. But anyway, <laughs> there's another car I should get going. downtown Telluride. The coffee shop down there is super busy, but there's a mountain film festival going on. A lot of people with important placards around their necks. Um, this is the gondola. It doesn't look like it's running. Um, it's free. There's another gondola over there. One of these is free and takes you to the top. So I'm gonna go get some chai somewhere. Of course I'm wearing flip-flops and it's like 40 degrees. That's when you're an ice skater. Your feet always have to be cold. Um, yeah, everyone's super nice. I will say um, Colorado has like no diversity. I've, I'm yet to see a person of color. Very disappointing, very beautiful though. I mean, maybe it's just, I don't know. I don't know why, but anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. gondola is about a two minute walk um, down here. Everything's opening up. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Don't know. Oh, I guess that's the gondola there. That's pretty cool. I have flip-flops on, which is probably not a good idea. Um, so I'm going to take it up, I think. And uh, yeah, I just got some, some chai. Uh, they spelled my name wrong, of course. Um, the guy was funny. He was like telling me that his uh, he was a huge Beatles fan as he's wearing a Taylor Swift shirt, which was creepy. Uh, anyway, so he's like, he was telling me that all his pets are called, like his four dogs are all named after Beatles or Beatles song characters. Um, 
which is pretty funny. So yeah, so this is gondola. I'm going to take it up right now and then um, that's it. So I think it's enclosed, so I'm not going to lose a shoe. That one I'd lose a shoe on. This is really cute. I actually like Telluride much more than I like Durango. But there's a film festival going on, so you've got people that, you know, don't live here. So I don't know what it's like when it's not, you know, when nothing's happening, but pretty cool. Tired um, a little bit, but I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to stick around, I've got some friends in town, or I'm going to uh, just keep going to Gunnison. I don't know about Rocky Mountain National Park. i got to check the weather. I may get snowed out. that um, I can go up to the top, there's Mountain Village, and uh, there's like a hiking trail, but I'm in flip-flops, so that's not gonna happen. Woo! Ah! <laughs> so I'm like marginally terrified of this. This is pretty cool though. I assume like these are fine. I mean, these run all day, every day, but still, I'm at the point of no return. <laughs> so this is beautiful. Um, it is really beautiful. I really like Telluride now. Um, I'm trying to look for a place like in my old age to buy property or land or something and Santa Fe still like is my you know happy place but I mean this place is really like you know the village is pretty close together. Um, no diversity though. That's why I like Santa Fe. Hang on let me make this a little bright. There we go. Um, so Santa Fe, New Mexico is still my happy place. The problem with Colorado, there's no diversity. It's like all white people. And I have a big problem with living in very whitewashed areas. Houston is the most diverse city in the country, um, which is great. Um, my, and my daughter goes to a very, very diverse school. But I just don't think I could live in a place that's like not diverse. So that said, it's very, very quaint and very pretty and reminds me a lot of northern Japan where I lived for four years. But the problem is that my hair messed up, flip funny. Um, so the problem is that, um, you know, this is like summertime. So I don't know what this is like in the winter when people are like incapacitated by the snow. So it's cute though, uh, much better than Durango. Um, I'm trying to like talk so I'm not terrified of like being on this thing. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to the top. Um, there's a, like a mountain village. Um, and I'm in flip-flops, so I'm not gonna really hike or anything. Uh, I do want to go to the National Park, Gunnison National Park. Um, that's my goal on this trip. So I can come back to Telluride. This is kind of a preview. Uh, I'll come back and spend like more time in this area and maybe try to come here in ski season. Telluride is probably the place where I'd like to ski, either that or the Tal Ski Valley, um, which uh, you know is also another favorite place. So it's really warm in this thing. You can see like the ski, where they put the ski stuff and all that. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a good drive, hour and a half from Durango. Durango's all right, it's not really my fave. <laughs> so very, very good for van lifers though. Very, very um, van life friendly. There's a place to get showers, place to do laundry, free place to park, right next to a gas station. Um, you know, it's a very easy town for van lifers, um, no problems. The police check on you, make sure you're okay. No knocks though, they don't knock on your door about it. Um, but other than that, um, glad to be out of there. <laughs> Uh, kind of arrogant mountain bikers. Um, so I, I haven't actually hiked or mountain biked really on this trip yet. Um, I'm pretty much going to do that the second half. So once I get to Gunnison, I'll do a hike. I do have a campsite with electricity. I ran out of power last night, so I need to reconfigure my electricity. Ran out of power, um, but I'm repowered up now. I'm super high up right now. It's like way too high for me. Um, hang on, let me switch hands. Sorry, my arm was getting tired. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to hike. I have electricity at a campsite in Gunnison today, so I think I'll park up. I do also have a campsite in Rocky Mountain National Park tonight, which is six hours from Gunnison. So I don't know if I'll do, do, I don't know if I will visit. <laughs> Find a hundred words for the word do. Don't say I did Europe. No, you did laundry and you did a poo. 
Um, but anyway, so I'm going to see if um, what the weather is like. I don't feel comfortable driving Prudence, you know, up into a snowy area right now. Um, you know, I'm not ready for that. But then I have some backups. So I can go to Estes Park. There's a few things to do there. There's another gondola I can do. A um, couple of things and then head down into Colorado Springs, uh, head through Denver. I've got some friends in Denver that invited me for dinner. So I was like, sure, I'll drive seven hours for dinner. <laughs> I mean, it's not the first time I've done something weird like that. Ooh, I don't, I don't like going past those poles, which are completely necessary to hold up the gondola. But I don't like him. <laughs> it's like, can you get rid of those? I don't know how they would attach the cables. This is fun. This is free. Free 99. Completely free. So free is good. Actually, yesterday was pretty much a free day. All I did was pay for gas to fill up. And today has been a the guy the guy the coffee shop only charged me two dollars um it's two dollars for the uh for the chai and so i tipped in two dollars because it should have been four dollars okay i'm here now ah! what the hell which is five minutes down the mountain. So that's what the lady was telling me. You go up and over. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a, okay, there's explosives on the mountain. That's awesome. Don't know what that's about. Mountain bike trails are closed. This would be really fun to mountain bike. It's like Angel Fire. I didn't get a chance to mountain bike there. So Angel Fire is a, re is a, a revisit. Uh, that was a preview. And then this one will be a revisit. I wish, oh man, I wish I knew I was going to be in Telluride. I didn't plan to go to Durango for the train and I didn't plan to go, well, I planned to go to Durango for the train. I didn't plan to go to Mesa Verde. So that took a whole day. So that was an extra day. Durango was a day. Gunnison is a day. Telluride's a morning. So yeah, I'll definitely come back. like ski resorts for skiing so I'm not entirely sure what's down here but it's a 12 mile round trip or a 12 mile one-way trip and then um, you can uh, uh, then you just take it back I guess so um, I'm gonna come back here definitely and go skiing I'm not skiing I snowboard sorry how dare I say the word ski I'm gonna go back and um, snowboard in snowboarding season I need to winterize the van and that would be great if I could be up here in that so you can also take your picture right here if you want to like look like these people that look like they don't know each other and they're completely bored out of their mind <laughs> i'm just kidding and then here's some information it's very windy right now very cold here's some information about um about this and then there's another one mountain village center station 
don't know where this one goes. This one, I guess, goes up somewhere else. So here we go. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe I have to take this one too. Maybe this is a mountain village. I don't know. Mountain village center station. Okay, that's where I'm at. Where does this one go? Oh, the, the supermarket at the top? Oh, that's funny. Uh, but there's nothing else up there, right? Okay, I'll take it. Might as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, so some of these are hard to hear, but this is the supermarket. It's three and a half minutes up here. So, and they really wake you up when you get off the uh, gondola. They're like, kudunk, kudunk. <laughs> so, and then mountain film is happening. So, yeah, so it's three and a half minutes. So that means it's 15 minutes total trip from the bottom up to the supermarket. And uh, actually, I do need bananas. So, ah! <laughs> holy shit. You know something? I love roller coasters. I've been to so many theme parks in my life. I've been to Disneyland probably about 300 times and Disney World about five times. And I still get this like, this could be the end. <laughs> so, this is so pretty. Oh my God, I have no money to live here. <laughs>